today. We introduce you to both from a Hungarian bow builder, Andreas Kovács. Andreas Kovács. We get these bows from Drachengrube in Germany. It's a nice company there, so they get from them a lot, and we get them from there. And he builds long bows, recurve bows, reflex, deflex, even scutian, bo scutian bows. But to this we get later. Today I want to show you the starter line of his bows. This is the L1. This is a straightforward longbow. It's 64 inches, I think, long. They have very, very nice mate handles, as you see. They're really small and you see that they take a lot of time and effort to make nice handles. Then you have a re really downward going uh, arrow rest, so then you can put your odd feather outwards and the third feather, so to say, will fit there nice through. Material wise, I will tell you later. I ask for more details, I will get them. Let's string this dude. One thing, and it's kind of a trademark of Andreas Spos is these extremely pointy tips. They are really dangerous, so you really have to take care when you poke someone or something. It's really pointy. And this is the little, when you put them out of these bow's leaves, they always get stuck with this point. So it's nice, it's interesting, but yeah, well, okay, it's like it is. So this is the bow's trunk, the L1 starter series. Uh, I have here a 30 pound. This is how it looks from this side. Drachengrube, you see, and then this is the L1. 30 pounds, these bows will L1 will be 289 for a bow like this, not bad, but what I forgot, arrows. <coughs> so. Back on track, 30 pounds, so it's a nice bow for beginners. You feel a little bend in the handle. So of course, but this way, as you see, it's a pistol grip. You don't hold the hand, you only hold it or even let it rest on your pressure point of your thumb. You don't hold the bow at all, then you don't feel the bending. But I think we might have a little vibration then or even a little hand shock when the handle is bending like this. Let's see. Yeah, a little vibration. I mean, vibration is fine. Hand choke is when you don't hold the bow, it's fine, but it's still, you feel it. All these bows are up to 32 inches, they say. Oh, look. No problem to draw more. A slight hand choke. It's, an, it's, it's a nice made bow, so you can't say anything, but of course. They are both out for less than this. And they have no hand shock. But when you want a special made, really with this, with this kind of handle, go for it. It's accurate, shoots nice, draws very smooth. That's it. This is incredible. Look, 32 inches, no problem. And of course, as usual. Very, very accurate. So this is nice. Interesting bow. This is the L1 the starter series. So this is when you think you want to start something. In archery, you can go with this one. The next one is the L2 of the starter series. Handle is a little more pronounced. And we have a slight reflex deflex now. And still the pointy tips, of course. Trademark is trademark. Yeah, but I'm, oops. That's a pretty bow. It looks really good. 
L2. Yes. I feel again the handle bending. But of course, when you make a small handle like this, you always have the downside of maybe slight vibration then. So let's shoot this one. This one is a little shorter or longer? Longer, 66 inches. I think I measured it, but you know, specifications. You can check on the website there. I will put the link in the description. This is 36 pounds. Drachengrube. Ooh, for my taste, feels way better. But it's my personal taste. You still have vibration, you still have a, a little hand choke, but it's not that pronounced as with the L1. Accurate, straws smooth. The only thing when you put on knocking points, guys, make sure that the gap there is closed or at least not sharp edgy. <clears throat> or better leave it and I put my own knocking points on it because what I hate is when the knocking point is scratching on your fingers. Good. Other than that, 32 inches again. <laughs> yeah, it's a powerhouse. 36 pounds. Ow. I hate this scratchy thingy. Shoots nice. You have a little vibration, you feel it, but you can't do anything against it. But this is a nice bow. Shoots nice, draws smooth, throws the arrows nice away. And this one is not that overly pointy. So this is, but it's, it's a really pretty bow. 32 inches, so if you wanna go. And no stacking, it draws like nothing. It's an interesting one, yes. And of course you need to like this design here. But it's, it's, it's nice made, it's, the handles are really, they snug fit, like, like a sport shoe. This one is a little bigger, because of reflex deflex, but that's why you don't feel that much hand shock. And the last one of the starter series is the R1. This is the reflex, and that looks really cool. Already unstrung, a monster. Is nice made, handle the same as before. It's a very small handle again. So, don't want to be the prophet. Small handle, heavy bendings in the limbs. When the longbows already have vibration and hand shock, we will see. Stringing is nice. Nice working recurves. It looks Looks very pretty. Does 32 again. I like that, that you're not limited to 28, 29, or even 30 inches. So when you're a tall guy and you draw more, it's fine too. Oh, there's no hand shock. But you heard that it's a little noisy, but no hand shock. Well, that's cool. Oh, I like this bow. That's a nice recur. I forgot. Oh, I forgot to tell you the L2 is 320 euros, and this one, the recurve R1, is 299. Look at the group. That's a nice bow. It sounds a little weird, but I think when you put there a small rubber stopper like others do with their shipahi bows or you have silences on the string, then you get rid of this noise, but that... Hmm? Barely, barely a hand joke. That's cool. Only this noise is annoying, but ooh, this bow is nice. I like this bow. That's a pretty bow, 300 euros, a really cool recurve bow. I said I don't know specifications, brace or stuff like this right now. I will get this information later or you can check it on their website. So the R1 is a very, very interesting recurve. It's short, 
I don't know how short. You see, it goes here, so this is short. Looks good, the, the wood is nice, nice made. That's an interesting bow. I wish, but I think you could ask them that they make the shelf simply on this side. They keep it as a, a right hand bow, but they make the shelf on the other side. Then you could shoot some release. Shooting a right hand bow with the right hand doesn't feel good because the handle is really made for the left hand. But this bow would be nice if it would have a shelf on the right side. Would be a cool thumb release bow. Wow. I would, and uh, it's a quite a nice idea. Need to talk to them maybe. Either one can make kind of a twin bow out of it so you don't have that deep center shot bow but you have two, like a twin bow. That would be nice. This as a twin bow, 32 inch draw. Take notes, Andreas. Interesting bow. But of course, what you all always want to know, how fast is the bow? I will tell you in a second. Action. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, speed test of the L1, the little hand jockey one. But still a beautiful bow, so no worries. Uh, 28 inches, 40.75, 56, what? 42.05, the errors are 380 grain, and this is a 30 pound, so a little on the heavy side, but you know. You can do the maths or whatever, I guess. 40.6. But accurate, 40.9. I draw now a little more. 32. It's 45. So in 28 inches, 40, 41 meters per second. I'm going to draw 32 inches and it's 45 meters per second. For a 30 pound longbow, which has a little hand shock and a little vibration, but looks quite nice, I have to admit. With these really pointy, dangerous, they are really pointy. Really, really pointy. So be careful when you get one. And it's for 289. An interesting bow. L2. The reflex deflex with a little bigger handle and no hand shock. 320. Of course, it's more work, more material, more expensive. And this is 36 pounds, so arrow weight is almost perfect. 45, 1. 43, 2. 42, 42, 6. What? Eight. Forty-two four. Forty-three. So forty-two, forty-three meters in twenty-eight inches. Let's overdraw the bow a bit. Thirty inches now oh, it's forty-eight seven. And an error. And an error. 48.3. Error. Ah, scratchy thing. So 50. So in 31, 32 inches, you get 50 meters per second out of this nice L2 bow. This one I like. No hand shock. Brace side is whatever, six inches. So sometimes when you don't hold your bow properly, you can slap your arm. 
But for this, people created arm guards. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the R1. It's I this one is is really nice. But you know, I like more the recurvy stuff than the longbow stuff. So, speed test of the R1 28 and this is a 28 pound. So it's a little less. 48, 40.8, 39.8. For well, this one, the arrows are a little heavy. This one in 35, 40 pounds. Surely an impressive shooter. Let's do it one more time. Thirty-two point four. Uh, 40, 42.4, 41, point zero zero, 40.3. So for a 28 pound bow with a little too heavy arrows, it's not that bad. But let's overthrow now a little. Oh, and the tennis ball, 45.2. Forty-seven point four. I only don't like this noise. Forty-seven. Forty-eight point four. Forty-eight point four. Forty-seven to forty-eight meters in thirty-one, thirty-two inches with two heavy arrows. So this is a really speedy one for a recurve for these modern ones with arrow rest on it. But as I said, I really maybe they built it for me as a twin bow that you have two arrow rests and you can shoot thumb release of course only with one hand not with the other because the handle doesn't work for the other side but other than that as I always say it's a nice impressive bow it's 299 so still under 300 euros you get something really nice handmade from Hungary this guy knows what he is doing. Or three are nice. Have their good sides and their bad sides. The L1, a little handshock, but straightforward longbow. Everything fine. The L2, reflex deflex, very good. No handshock, slight vibration, nice handle, nice and speedy. And the R1 of the starter series. Under 300 euros, you get a really cool looking, well working, not too slow recurve with, with a heavy flex already in the handle. Looks cool, shoots cool, is cool. If you have any more questions, I would put the link down for the Drachengrube in Germany where you can get more information about these bows. And we have a lot more bows to come from and they have a Scythian bow, Scythian bow, they have other long bows, recurve bows for the ladies they say that you when you have here a little too much it's easier I don't know I need to check first but for now thank you very much for watching.